I had a problem, but I'm going to show you how I solved it. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this Design Talk episode, I want to share with you how I quickly solved a problem that was just nagging me. So I picked up this Grip Gear slider. So this was a great value, I think, for around 100 bucks. It comes with a dolly and several other things. Used to be around 150 but the price has come down. So this is great for action cams, etc. So I've been using this uh, for some of my time lapses, 3D printing, uh, in that but one of the problems that I had when connecting this to the tripod because one of the pieces that I do is I connect this to the tripod and get different angles uh, automatically of the time lapses it's just got this knurled quarter 20 bolt so when I attach it to the tripod base if I don't drop it right here what happens is it cinches down but it's not very tight there's not a lot of surface area to grip to this and one of the pieces, I was in the middle of a rather long time lapse, and I bumped this thing, and it moved, and, it, you know, basically screwed up my time lapse. And so with that, I said to myself, self, you know, there's got to be a better way. So let's take a look at this. Let's figure out how we can solve this problem. So one of the first things that I knew is most higher-end tripods have this locking head. That's about 13 millimeters off the center uh, uh, quarter 20 mount. So you notice that this has no way to take advantage of that. Okay, so let's solve that problem. So that's one of the first things I did is, is decided I'm going to take advantage of that pin. The other piece is I'm going to create as much surface area. So I'm going to go from this little surface area up to about 70 some millimeters. Now, one of the pieces that this uh, quick change shoe drops into a much bigger piece because I'm using a videographer tripod. So I've got medium format and videographer tripods which have a much bigger head on them to carry heavier cameras than you see out of standard uh, tripods. So that's why I went to this larger, uh, if you will, diameter sort of adapter plate. Now, one of the pieces, it, this will also work on a smaller camera adapter, too, or a smaller tripod head. And so it kind of does double duty there. So, you know, no harm in going bigger, as I say. Uh, the other piece that I wanted to do with this is I took a look at, at the whole um, carriage design here. Is I've got these two other bolts, and I've also got this rail system. Now, one of the pieces, notice, this actually comes proud of the rail system to go past here, so I couldn't come up too high on this, but I wanted this to lock in, so what I did is I also created a groove, and in Fusion, I filleted this groove so the uh, this blue piece here would actually sit into this groove and lock in. And then on top of it, what happens is this also locks into these two other uh, bolts to create a firm lock. So it just snaps in like that. And then what we do is we take, and if we don't mess up our little uh, mat there, we can take this, screw it in, and then what happens is this pin pops into that hole, locks it in place, and then not only have I got this pin locking it, I've got the bigger surface area. I'm locked by these two bolts here, and I'm also locked by this. So this creates a super solid mount. And so, again, another great example of problem solution. So when you're faced with a problem, again, take a look at what pieces do you have to work with. I clearly saw I had you know several pieces here with these two uh, uh, you know, nuts that cinch on here. I clearly had this runner here, this piece of aluminum runner. I had this opening because, again, I made it just to the size of the opening because you notice it was actually a snap fit. When this goes on, it's a snap fit to all of these parts. And this is, again, where I love the filleting command inside of Fusion 360 because it allows me to make the top or the opening piece a little bit smaller and be able to s create snap fit components um, very easily because of the fillets. So 
I was pretty excited about this. This works great. I'll put this up on Thingiverse. So if you have one of these grip gear sliders or you're looking for uh, you know, a great economical slider for your smaller camera, I, this, I highly re recommend this. Especially get the director set, comes with the dolly and all that. And then go ahead, print this off, and hey, Bob's going to be your uncle. So hopefully you found this interesting, maybe a little inspiring. I gave you some ideas. Maybe in your slider, which may not be a grip gear, or maybe you have another problem and you're going to go, hey, this is the solution to that or the way Mr. DIY3DTech.com went about it, I can reuse this idea for that solution. So if it did, give it a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it because the bell button's coming up over there, which means go down there, hit that bell so you're notified. What? You, you, you have to be a subscriber to hit that bell and you're not a subscriber. I put out regular content, tons of playlists, 3D printing, CNC, laser cutting, you name it. It's in those playlists all for free for you guys. So be sure to subscribe. Swag Shop's up there and we'll catch you in the next video where we design something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on